welcome to another vlog. You guys gave lots of feedback after the week in my life that I just posted. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I know a lot of you guys prefer the daily vlogs over the weekly vlogs. It was just a busy week last week and you know, I was, I was going through it <laughs> with my mental health last week, which I love that I can kind of share those moments with you guys and like how, how real things get in my life in like videos like that. But today will just be like a day in my life. It's Sunday, I just got back from Trader Joe's. You guys know I go grocery shopping every Sunday. I mostly got liquids and beverages this week because I have a ton of frozen food in my freezer that I need to get through. So we'll do a quick little essentials haul, if you will, from Trader Joe's. And then I have some exciting things to share and show you guys. It'll be a fun vlog. So let's, let's start with you guys know. I love these. I've been going to the pool a lot, beach a lot. So, I've been going through those. More of the Viognier wine. This stuff is so good. Stocked up on my favorite kombucha. I've got a ton of those. I am a big fan of the sweet potato gnocchi now. Sorry, camera's shaking when he jumps on the counter. Uh, so good. I hate, I hate the cooking instructions on the back. I will say it's like a texture thing for me. It weirds me out. But I will cook it in the pan and then toss it in the air fryer and it gives it like a little bit of like a crispier outside and it's a thousand times better and now I love it. So I picked up a bag of that. That is more kombucha. Got another one of those. They're just so easy to make when I just don't feel like cooking anything. More oat milk. And then I have bread in the fridge that I've been meaning to use with, use, have with turkey and cheese or this is chicken breast. But little sandwiches, I can make that now. I got some sweet potatoes to eat with probably the chicken. I'll probably make chicken this week. And then I got some more blackberries and then the rest is just more kombucha. Yeah, quick little Trader Joe's haul for you guys. And uh, I have so much stuff in the back of my Jeep still from my old place. We will catch up on that in a sec. I will update you guys on all that stuff in a sec. But I'm gonna put all this away and then go grab that stuff and then I can show you guys everything that I have to share and we can chat, share updates, we'll do that. The notebooks arrived. I have two massive boxes under these plants. I literally broke a sweat dragging this thing through my complex. So I had to take a shower, but I need to open up the inventory in there and make sure everything's correct and good. And then these are my new plant babies for the office. I'm so excited. I think this one folded a little in my Jeep, but it's okay. I think it'll fluff back up. But like I said, for the office, we are going dark masculine vibes and I love the color of these. I think they're elephant alocasias. Don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure, but I love these so, so much. They're so pretty. <laughs> of the inventory has been laid out. So this is what I do every single time that I get the order in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and count each one. These are the two new ones. The list of things are finally in this marble design that you guys have been obsessed with. So we brought that out, the list of things. So I have to go through, I have to upload these, take photos of these today. And then I just, I have all of these already on the site. We do have the manifestations in plain white. I just didn't need to order any more of those since there's still quite a few in stock. Um, but there are four options of each now, like every, every color in both notebooks. Um, so yeah, now I have to go through, count individually all of these, make sure that they are the correct amount that I ordered. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take photos and then upload the rest of the inventory to the site and then they should launch in like 30 minutes. Hopefully I get that all done in time. <laughs> All right, I just counted all the inventory and I think I'm missing around five, so I need to double check my order. And if I'm missing them, then I need to contact my manufacturer and get those sent over ASAP. So this is why we count, this is why we make sure that everything what it was supposed to be. So now I need to go check my order receipt and see if I indeed, deep indeed did order. 
that exact amount that I just counted or if I am missing some. All right, I just looked at my order receipt. Uh, so I am missing three notebooks. The other one I did only order that amount of, but one of the piles that I ordered more of, unfortunately did not come with more of them. So <laughs> that kind of sucks, but I'm gonna have to see how quickly they can get those out to me. Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. That just means a few less for inventory, but that's okay. I'm sure that they will fix it. And now I get to go ahead and start taking photos and getting these uploaded to the site because I told you guys they would be live in an hour. These ones I just have to put the numbers in, but the list of things, the marbles one, marbled ones, I have to actually take photos of and create a whole new listing for that and then add that to the site and then it'll be all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right. I have updated all of the inventory and everything, so that is all on the site. The only thing that I'm kind of bummed about this time around is there's like a sticker on the back of the actual notebook itself. Um, obviously it's for my manufacturer wherein they're printing the designs and everything. I think it's like their barcodes and stuff for their machines. I thought it was on the plastic on the outside. Turns out it's on the actual notebook itself, so that's unfortunate because I'm gonna have to unwrap every single notebook and usually I just like to like ship them out wrapped for you guys um, but since they started putting stickers on the actual notebook themselves I have to unwrap every single notebook and peel off every single sticker for everything so that way they look nice and pretty and clean when they arrive for you guys so I'm gonna have to start doing that uh, and then like organize all the inventory and the shelves and stuff so that way I can start shipping stuff out Honestly, I'll probably start shipping stuff out later. Also, sorry for the noise outside. My slider is open So some fun things that I got over the last few days that I want to share with you guys These were the flowers that I got from Trader Joe's this morning. So beautiful And then I got this at Rogers Gardens the other day I think it'll be a really fun like cheese platter to do some charcuterie boards on there uh, if you watch TikTok, y'all know. <laughs> and then I ordered the NMDs off of Amazon. I ordered them from the Adidas website last time. Hold on, let me shut this because this is actually really loud and <laughs> kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, um, I ordered them off of the actual Adidas website last time and I ordered seven and a half and they were so big. They felt like they were like three sizes too big. And then I ordered them off of Amazon and the sevens feel a little snug. Unfortunately, they don't have this design on the site anymore um, in my size. So I ordered a different style and a seven and a half just so I can compare the sizing. And then I'm just gonna return whatever ones don't fit as well, like whatever ones fit better, I'm just gonna keep. But I've been wanting a pair of these for so, so long. It's just the sizing always throws me off. I never know what size to order, so. I have to try again on these and we'll see. Hopefully at least one of the pairs will fit. This is all stuff that was left at my old apartment. And then I went to um, Dana Point Nursery this morning with Jem and I found this cute little pot and then I found like a baby version of it. So freaking cute. And I think I need to put this one in a bigger one. I, I really like this, but it just unfortunately does not fit that plant. So that's got to change. I finally repotted my birds of paradise these were two little teeny tiny baby birds when i first bought them and they are just growing and growing so i found this pot at rogers gardens and then i just repotted both of them in here this morning they're growing so quickly i'm probably gonna have to repot them again but that's amazing because you know someday someday they will become this someday <laughs> um and then my fiddle was finally on its last last leg so decided to propagate it um, i have some pothos in here to help the roots but i know it's going to take a really long time for some roots to grow on this but i saved as many of the leaves as i possibly could and then popped it in this little vase that i have right here so we're just going to let that hopefully propagate by the window hopefully she will do amazing and thrive and we can repot her maybe later in the year but my birds are just they're thriving and i love it so repotted those this morning did that this morning as well. I also repotted this little dude. This was a teeny tiny baby. Do you guys remember when I got this from Trader Joe's? It has already grown so much. Had to repot it in a bigger one. Also, my alocasia out there has spider mites. So, 
she is quarantining out there and I'm spraying her down every day to get rid of them. Hopefully we can get rid of them. And hopefully none of these other babies that were hanging out in the same corner as her end up getting them. My friend noticed yesterday, so put her outside and she's gonna stay out there until she's clean. <laughs> so I'm hoping that none of these other ones got it. Hopefully these are all okay. It was only this one and this guy sitting over here and my bird of paradise, but they all looked fine. So we will keep an eye out for that, but those are how the plant babies are doing. This one is thriving. And then we've got my other little propagations over here. It's so freaking bright over here. I can't, I can't handle it. Hi. Oh, he's just, he's so tired. This fiddle we were able to save. She was dying on me and now she's thriving. Repotted her, added some soil. I think she had a little bit of root rot, but she's doing fantastic now. And I'm so, so happy that we were able to save her. She's just so pretty. I love it. And then this is another new one that I just bought the other day. This one's already growing a new little baby right there. Got one coming in, but I love these plants so much. They're so pretty. I want this one to just like vine up the wall. And then this is an alocasia that I got the other day. I love it. I love how pretty the alocasias are. They're just so beautiful. So I have that one in here hanging out. And then I still have my two birds over there. This one's thriving. This one, not so much. She's not so happy. I don't, I don't know what's going on with her. She wasn't thriving in my other bedroom as well. We're, we're seeing if maybe she likes the new light in the new bedroom. We'll see. I mean, she hasn't started dying. She's just not, not sprouting any new babies. Like this little one has been curled for so long and she never like popped out. So I don't know. We'll see how this one does. But for now, I mean, she's not dead on me. She's okay. <laughs> and my little fiddle way back there on my nightstand is sprouting a new baby as well. That one's very happy here. Let's see, what else did I get? Ooh, I got this little baby for my office. I am so excited, so freaking cute. So I'm gonna actually put this on my desk. Mm, it won't fit in there, but I will put something there that it will fit in and this one will find up the wall and it looks so pretty. And then this is the other alocasia that I had in my bedroom. This was the very first one that I got. Started losing all of its leaves. We lost a whole stalk and now she's okay. So I don't know. We're just letting her hang out in here because she likes it, so. <laughs> There's that. And then these are the two new alocasias that I just got from my office. Very excited about these. I love the vibe of them in here. I need to order some pots off of Amazon, but I've already got a new baby growing in here. That one's gonna be so pretty. And then I think this one's getting ready to sprout a new baby in there, so. It's gonna look so good in here once the office comes together. We're getting there eventually. I am in no rush to like furnish everything super quickly. I just, I would like a kitchen table very, very soon because of all the orders that I have to pack and making bracelets would be so much easier on like an actual kitchen table, but we're working on it. Still gotta figure that out and figure out what I want to buy. So until then, I'm managing. <laughs> but I do love my desk. My desk looks so cute. Mine is the mess of like everything else in here. This is just like the place where I throw everything for now until I figure out what I'm doing with it. <laughs> this is what is left of that fiddle. So I'm going to save, whoops, I'm going to save the big pot in case I ever need to like repot other plants into a bigger container. So I just gave Bentley a bath <laughs> and now he gets some peanut butter and some of his food and his little Kong toy. He did so well, now he's so nice and clean. He didn't like the, the dryer too much, so he's only like half dry, but I did it where it's still light, up, light enough outside and enough daytime left where he can dry before tonight, but he'll be okay. The next day, done with the workout. Monday leg days are rough. Do you see how red my face is right now? I need to shower so bad. The abs are coming in. I feel like I'm finally starting to see a little bit of results here. We're like four weeks into training now, so feeling good about it. Let me show you guys what, hello. My legs don't even wanna stand anymore. They're so tired. Let me show you guys what I got done yesterday. And, uh, little updates because I, I cleaned my apartment yesterday, I gave Bentley a bath, and I reorganized my office a little bit, packed a bunch of orders, 
and got my spin bike this morning so now i can finally set that up let me show you guys cutie hi <laughs> okay so spin bike is going to be here in this corner i still need to grab hello i always do that i need to grab the mat out of my car and then put the mat down and then get all that set back up again but these are all the orders that need to get shipped out today. I need to drop those at the post office. All of my inventory is just there for now. I need to organize it in the closet somewhere. And then these are the elephant alocasias. I believe that's what they're called. I apologize if that is wrong, but they look so good in here. I love it. I think I might do like a black shelf up here or something, or maybe add some like deep wood tones into it so we can get like a nice mix of like black and like wood in here i feel like that might look really pretty too so that is that got all of that organized orders packed i feel like i got a lot of stuff done yesterday apartment is clean my couch is a mess from bentley what's new flowers look so good i am going to continue to buy myself flowers every sunday in my old apartment, I feel like the coffee table and where I sat on the couch, it blocked the TV because it was lower, but now that the TV's higher, I can have flowers and still like sit here and watch TV. And I love it. I love it so much. So the plan for today, I had training this morning. I got my spin bike this morning. Those are like the two things that I needed to get out of the way. And now I'm gonna take a shower, let Bentley out. And my cousin is coming over at 11 to help me make some of the bracelets because we got so many orders in. I'm so thankful. You guys are amazing. I got to take Bentley out, but she's going to help me make bracelets. And then I'm getting my nails done at three. I'm excited. I have an idea of what I want because my birthday is in a week, in eight days, which is wild. But we're going to get my nails done so I can have like nice birthday nails. And, uh, Feel nice and cute for my birthday, right? Would you like to go outside, Bubba's? Would you like to go outside? Do you want to go potty? Do you want to go potty? <laughs> Are you camera shy now? This is someone like you. Hi. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, sweet boy. Oh, I love you. Okay, let's go outside. <laughs> Many hours later now. My cousin and Jem came over and we had a little bracelet bead making party because Jem had a bunch of bracelets she had to make and then my cousin was helping me thread all of the bracelets. I think we got almost all of them done. We were just a few short because I ran out of beads. So I have my new inventory coming in in a few days and then I will be all cut up bracelets and beads and all of that fun stuff so I think we spent like two and a half hours threading the bracelets and we still have more to go but that is okay also I just got back from the nail salon I got my nails done so I know you guys love to see every time I get a new design on them this is what they look like super cute i saw um my nail lady is local in newport so i will leave her info down below if you guys need a good nail girl she's amazing and she just opened her own little shop i will have her info down below if you guys want to check her out she's been doing my nails ever since i moved here now she's literally amazing i love her stuff i did a little video on TikTok last time. She did like a fun geometric design on my nails and I showed her the video because I had forgotten that I did that. And um, I was like, Joy, like over 200,000 people saw your design and she was like, what? That's so many. And she's like, I need to get on TikTok. I'm like, yes, you do. So hopefully she actually hops on TikTok tonight and does that. Um, and then she can share her nail designs with everyone. But I think I'm just gonna recreate the same video that I did. It was like, here's my new nails. Okay, bye. If you guys are on TikTok, you've already seen it. Uh, so I'm just gonna redo that. But I saw this design she had done on another client and I was like, I want that, do that. So some fun birthday nails, my nails, my nails. You guys, I'm so exhausted today. My birthday is in eight days. It's next Tuesday, which is wild. I think I 
am going to just do like a little brunch with my close girlfriends this weekend and just keep it chill, casual. I don't know. Everyone keeps asking me what I want to do, but really, what is there to do? I'm probably going to end up working on my birthday next week anyways. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen, but that's the, that's the plan. I have some more orders that I need to pack and ship out all of the bracelets that I just made today. I need to work on packing those orders and getting those all ready. I'm going to ship those out tomorrow morning. Tomorrow I have to make a return to Zara because I showed you guys that in a few... I cannot speak today. I showed you guys that a few vlogs ago. The stuff that I got from Zara, it all ended up being like one size too big. So I need to exchange it if they happen to have the correct sizes when I go. I'm going to do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to return everything. And then I also need to run by Sephora and pick up a few things. And then I think I'll be set and ready. And we'll be good. It's about exciting. And I cannot speak today. That's about as exciting as this Monday night is going to get. I'm making myself some sweet potato gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I will just toss it in my always pan. By the way, love this pan so much. I know I haven't even talked about it since I bought it. But I do really love it. And it looks really cute sitting out on my stove. So I will just toss that in the pan and then I love throwing it in the air fryer because I think I've already mentioned this. Weird with the texture, like it's, it's a texture thing for me. I need it like a little bit crunchy, otherwise it's like super mushy and it like kind of weirds me out. But other than that, it's really freaking good. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm just way too lazy to make anything else right now. I'm gonna finish the rest of the kombucha that I had this morning too. I'm probably gonna sit on my couch for a little while and catch up on some YouTube videos and just like veg out because I have not, I feel like I haven't sat down today. That has just been a whole day of errands and things to do. Okay, I was on the phone <laughs> with Jem while I was unboxing my speaker, but this was like a little birthday present to myself. Um, I have been wanting a really good speaker for my apartment and I really like this one. Jem has this exact same one and we listened to music on it. I think she's had it like probably before I was in like, college or like back when I was in college. She's had hers for quite some time and the sound quality was just always really good. So I finally found one. Of course black to match the aesthetic in the new apartment. I love it. So now I can bring this into my office and play music. Um, I can bring it outside on my patio, my balcony, and hang out out there because I have my, um, my Echo shows in my bedroom. I use one as like my alarm clock or just my clock at night, but I also use that to play music. And then I have one in my bathroom to play music in my bathroom. And then I have one in my kitchen right back there because I always use it for the timers when I'm cooking and then to play music because it just like connects all of them. This one also has, I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to set anyone's off, but it also has her on <laughs> this speaker as well, which is really cool. I think that's like a new feature on the newer speakers, but I couldn't quite figure out how to link them or if it's even possible to link this and play it on this as well as my other speakers. That was like essentially why I got it because I thought that would be cool, but I have no idea if that's even an option. But either way, I love that I can just bring this like outside and into my office whenever I want to play music over there. If this is honestly, oh, hi, don't mind the sirens. It is a nightly thing here. It's so loud. I heard it all the time at my last apartment too, but I feel like it's even louder and more frequent here. What I was gonna say is I might honestly take the other Alexa out of my, as I just say her name again after I said I wasn't gonna say it. Um, I might take, <laughs> as mine goes off, I might take that Echo Show out of my bathroom and put it in my office and then just bring this like in my bathroom when I wanna listen to music and stuff while I'm showering and whatnot. But I'm really excited. So now I have this, please, really good sound quality and I really like it. So happy early birthday to me. If you guys didn't know my birthday is next week. I think I've already said that in this video. I forget what I have said because it's been like a few days of me filming. I need to head into my office and 
I was gonna watch the sunset, but it's like basically already set now. I might get like the last few seconds of it. But I think I'm gonna head in my office. Yeah, the clouds are blocking it. I totally missed my opportunity to watch it. Oh well, it's fine. I have so many nights in this apartment. I'm so grateful and thankful that I get a view like that every single night. But I'm gonna head into my office now and pack the bracelet orders that need to get packed. So I'm just text it be. And do all of that before it gets too dark in here. Because I started doing that yesterday and then realized that I don't have like a solid light source in my office to be packing orders and doing all of that because there's no overhead lighting. So I'm going to get started on that. And that way I can ship stuff out and be on track for orders for tomorrow. You're gone now. Will you come me back? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind. It's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Once you've seen. 